the Galactic Free Press update. Humanity's destiny is set in stone. Bringing humanity home. Energy and event update. With love from the Galactic Center. The real news and the whole truth. Greetings, love beings. Welcome to the mystical and transformative month of May. We have many, many exciting events this month. On top of this, we will have intense waves of 5D frequency energy hitting the planet all month long. You thought the energy was intense in these past few months? Well, a lot more is coming. This will be the most intense energy that has been here on this planet in over 13,000 years. This will assist us greatly in the Great Awakening for Planet Earth Equal Heart, which is an unstoppable process for this planet, and it's currently underway. There is no way to stop this energy. This planet is becoming a Blue Star Seed Nation, and no ego can prevent this, stop this, or delay this. The destiny has already occurred and is set in stone. Now humanity has to catch up with their destiny with no seatbelts. Quoted from Celia Sen, Beloved family of light, in this time of intense shift and change and emergence, you are feeling the turbulence of the birthing of the new galactic human within the new golden rose galaxy. You are becoming accustomed to the new energies and the frequencies of the new reality. We would like to say to you that coping with this new reality is very simple if you remember just one thing, that everything is energy and frequency. It's all about frequency. Finding your bearings in this new reality and finding peace, harmony, and abundance is a simple matter of frequency. It's a matter of aligning with and resonating with the frequency of divine love and compassion, the frequency of divine creative intelligence that flows from the divine heart. This is not something that you have to work hard to achieve or to study for, to suffer for, or to be good enough for. You do not have to heal yourself or remove blocks. It is your birthright, and you simply have to make a choice and step into it. It is a frequency that is within you, and you simply have to find it within your heart and align with your being with this frequency. And it is to hold that frequency of balance and alignment in yourself and to anchor it for the wider community. To flow with abundance and harmony and not to allow others to pull you into dimensional imbalance and back into the illusion. Beloved ones, the past is behind you, and the future is yet to come. Now is the moment when you can anchor the frequency of peace and abundance and serve as a galactic connection point and transmitter of light codes for the global community. In so doing, you are aligning with the work of the Earth Keeper Council and the Council of Elders, who serve to focus divine love to those places where it is most needed to be in the community into balance and alignment with the frequency of the Divine Heart. Our message to you at this time is to stay focused and committed to the frequency of Divine Light. Be powerful and strong. Be clear and true to yourself and your, and your vision. Remember that you have evolved into a multidimensional being of light that expresses I am and we are. What you were before is not what you are now. It is a new day and a new reality. We wish you joy and abundance as you evolve into your new reality as galactic humans and part of the galactic communication grid. End of quote. We have a jam-packed month of events with two significant eclipses representing endings, new beginnings, deep transformation, and changes. Out with the old and in with the new. Each month since we began this year has be been grander 
and grandeur, energy, in favor of the victory of the light on planet Earth equal heart, and we are now kicking it up a notch again. Quoted from Mahela. Now the upcoming eclipse new moon is on May 9th and 10th. The meaning of this degree is a new continent rising out of the ocean. It brings the surge of new potentiality after the crisis. When the mind has been emptied and light has been called upon to purify the consciousness freed from its attachment and contaminations, a new release of life can emerge out of the infinite ocean of potentiality. It sounds like we are on our way to something new. How exciting is this? Then, the eclipse full moon of May 24th is on 4 degrees Sagittarius. This is the degree of a little child learning to walk with the encouragement of his or, his or her parents or the natural assistance of superior powers during crisis of growth. It sounds to me like we will just be learning how to live on a higher frequency, Earth, with the help of our higher selves." End of quote. And quoted from Sandra Walters, This triple eclipse presents strong opportunities for direct star family contact, strengthening of the merge with the higher self, and acceleration of the shift. The gatekeeper's mission becomes aligning vortexes, sacred site wormholes, and energetic portals all over Gaia with the interdimensional stargates and gateways, blasting us with light at the moment. These gateways can be unlocked, aligned now through the May 10th eclipse, right through to the May 25th eclipse." End of quote. With all this energy, we will be blowing the doors wide open for many truths to be revealed and for much to come to the surface. The new story for humanity is only love, and the rest will be dissolved. Quoted from Wes Anik, Your mainstream media will still not yet report the progress humanity as a collective is making with the purging of the dark souls from your collective society and influence. And this is because such media is still largely owned by those individuals. You will find in, time, in the time ahead that free press is an absolute and just as will be so with your governments, souls in your mainstream media who display malevolent malevolent or service to self-based agendas will be kindly taken away from their positions and depending on what their higher selves and their guides wish for them personally will perhaps be rehabilitated of the negativity that would drive a malevolent, malevolent <laughs> perspective. We ask you all to brace yourselves for the bursting open of a millennia of secrets. The revelations will indeed be pouring in one after the other, and we are confident in stating that those of you who have already prepared yourselves and learned so much about the very subjects humanity is to be taught in the time ahead will be able to both calm and inform those around you who may initially wish to panic or retreat back into the old paradigm they feel comfortable with. This paradigm is to truly burst open which is why your light and your knowledge will be more needed than ever." End of quote. And quoted from CNN Users Blogs, the Peace Group reports rise in global peace consciousness. I Declare World Peace claims that peace projects across the spectrum have had a collective positive effect on global peace levels. In an interview, Gelber rattled off the names of an eclectic range of projects, including mainstream groups such as the United States Institute of Peace, the Peace Corps, and the United Nations, as well as an art-based efforts like Celebrate World Peace, social media groups like I Declare World Peace, and the famous Dutch group World Peace is Possible all the way to New Age groups like the Galactic Free Press. He also pointed out meditation-based endeavors such as 
Maharshi's Transcendental Meditation, based global country of world peace, Gelber noted that there is now some kind of pro-peace effort that will appeal to every sensibility, from the most buttoned-down, straight-laced personality to the very creative, to the cosmically attuned personality, end of quote. You can assist the planet. Thank you for declaring peace. We also encourage it to videotape others amongst your family, friends, and communities declaring peace. This is planet-wide, and we can make this happen. Thank you for participating. In our last update, we shared the energy was ripe, finally, for the People's Movement for Disclosure to begin in earnest, and indeed it has. This energy continues to build this month for full disclosure. This past week, the Citizens' Hearing on Disclosure began, and is getting very interesting exciting, and it looks like it's heating up for a finale. Some very courageous people are stepping up and forward, which will then open the doors for others to follow. The truth is rising. We anticipated a huge breakthrough for the light with this event, and this is definitely already showing us signs of this. One way or the other, the truth is coming out, and there is no way to stop this from happening, no matter what. Quoted from the Washington Post about the citizens' hearing for disclosure. As close encounters go, this one has it all. An unprecedented week of seemingly official hearings in the very heart of Washington, jammed with spine-tingling, top-secret accounts of the extraterrestrial kind. Still, it all adds up to fabulous news for the long-suffering true believers of UFO lore who have never brought their cause so near to the seat of ultimate power. We've been waiting for years, and now this has been our week where it all comes out, said Canadian UFO researcher Victor Vijani, who is attending the hearings. The quality of the testimony is almost too much for these former Congress people to absorb. They are getting blown away. I believe we are now approaching critical mass. All we need is one or more isotopes, and we will have our dense mass. This will explode into the biggest story in the world in a matter of days. Disclosure is the issue at the heart of this week's hearings, organized by the Paradigm Research Group. The hope is that the hoopla will translate into enough pressure to force a full American unveiling of whatever evidence remains in the dust-encrusted archives. It's not that we want the Americans to admit UFOs are real and we are being engaged by beings from beyond. We already know that, Bajani said. We just want the U.S. government to acknowledge that they know. The information age has given us a huge advantage because the data is moving around now beyond anyone's control. So. What's the big deal? Not just a minute. We're not adolescents. We're grown-ups. And we can handle it. End of quote. And quoted from Nancy B. Deitweiler. During the citizen hearings on disclosure of the extraterrestrial presence with us, I have heard at least two witnesses state that their local air traffic control personnel had, has described the UFO showing up on their radar, radar looked like a cloud, which they were evidently using as camouflage. This caught my attention because I have posted numerous cloud ship photos. As has happened throughout these hearings, confirmations of what I and other lightworkers have been saying on the Internet are tumbling out, one after the other. Finally. End of quote. And quoted from Hannah Beaconsfield. Our current view regarding the release of information to the public as to the reality of extraterrestrial life is that it is seeping into the common consciousness on a daily basis. This is happening due to the increasing number of individuals on Earth carrying extraterrestrial energy. Please understand and trust that we are with you now. We are among you. We are part of you. We are helping you with downloads of information to specialists in many fields to assist you in solving your planetary problems. 
we are guiding the destructive forces to paths of peace through your own international diplomatic agencies. We are encouraging many of your leaders to think outside of the box in order to break up third density patterns and be open and available to fifth density potentials. We are working to speed your ascension because that would create the state of consciousness necessary to be open and welcoming to our extraterrestrial visitors. We are not just speaking from our Palladium point of view, but as part of a galactic unity. There are so many extraterrestrial world cultures supporting your growth now. They have supported the evolution of your world's development from the beginning. Those of you who are holding out for a landing on the White House lawn are focused on the wrong drama right now. If you allow yourself to climb a little higher on the consciousness ladder, you would get a clear view of the action on Earth. There are widespread changes moving the total world culture in the direction of the light. These changes are being woven into the fabric of your evolving world history and the fabric of your individual lives. At first, just a few new threads of change are visible. Then more and more threads become visible until the whole fabric of your total planet is a completely different color. Another consideration is that there are ongoing contact events and have been for decades between extraterrestrials and individuals or small groups of people who have prepared for contact and can handle the energetic impact to the human psyche. Even when these events have been reported, they have been ignored by the common consciousness, which is not ready to handle the information. The current transformation of your species will allow those whose bodies of consciousness are blending in an ascension energy a greater ability to be open to handling the impact of extraterrestrial energy. Consider evolving your own practice of preparation for contact. Let your imagination and your personal extraterrestrial connections be your guide. Be at peace. End of quote. You see, it's all of you who read these messages, listen to these videos, who are all the front runners of the new paradigm and examples for all of creation. You have a responsibility with the information we share with you to be love and action for humanity in every moment. And indeed, this is your mission and task at hand. This is the very reason you are here. The incoming energies are arriving to fully support everyone who are present in the moment of now to fulfill all of your missions and your contact contracts. Quoted from Carolyn K.A. Today, we come to you in great celebration of a truth which is unfolding at this most important time. We ask each and every one of you, those who are listening or reading to these words now and who understand the magnitude behind them, we ask you to look deep within your hearts, for your time of calling will soon be upon you. A truth which is rapidly rising to the surface, for it can no longer be squelched and hidden away. There are too many of you now who are openly communicating with us and the word is spreading like wildfire. Dear ones of Gaia, as you well know, we chose not to disclose dates or time frames whatsoever, but we tell you there has been a great push in regards to disclosure. And as we have also told you before, the greatest push of all must come from you, the collective, and each individual each light worker, way shower, who, choose, who chooses to join with us in bringing this great gift of truth to light. Each day, more truths are coming to the surface within your personal lives, within the collective, and throughout your planet. More people are now choosing to wake up. They are asking questions, and they are fully realizing the system they once trusted to provide and protect them is not working. It never has. It's a false system. And this truth, dear ones, is rapidly rising to the surface among the entire population of Gaia. 
we ask you, those souls who are in fact communicating with us, and there are a great many of you, with the utmost sincerity of heart, we ask you to step forward with us. We ask you to shed the remaining layers of fear which may still reside in your hearts and come out into the light as communicators of love and trust. If you feel you are ready to push forward, use your social media's internet, radio, blog sites to even greater extent as further validation of your communications and of our existence. The manner in which you do this is not as important as long as you do this with love in your hearts and not out of ego, but out of genuine and sincere intent for the well-being of each and every soul upon this earth. We ask you to step forward and work with us in bringing disclosure into the light of truth. End of quote. On April 29, 2013, we received some interesting visions from our angels and craft via synchronistic events, which means they were real events on behalf of humanity. This news is the Earth herself was asked to embrace her heart completely, thus firmly grounding the balanced harmonics en energy onto the planet. Everything love is was given directly to Mother Earth Equal Heart on behalf of humanity, and she accepted and embraced this energy. This is a huge energy shift, because not only is she existing in the 5D frequencies, but now the complete wholeness is returning to her and her body systems and functions. All of humanity makes this starship up, and Mother Earth Equal Heart says, let's go. There are no more choices left except love and awakening. Billions of our craft are cloaked in your atmosphere and patiently waiting as humanity awakens. All will have to journey and shift to these 5D frequencies. Quoted from James Gilliland. How can one best navigate these changes? be in proper alignment with these new energies, make the obvious shift the Earth has chosen, chosen, which is to ascend to the next level? The answer is quite simple. It is so simple, most miss it. Be kind to each other. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Live in harmony with each other and with nature. Most important, pay attention. It is also important now, more than ever, to clean up your messes. Be aware of your choices and actions, as well as who is making them. This 3D world is ending. The wrath of the tyrants, along with their lust for power and wealth at the expense of humanity and nature, is coming to a close. The dark hearts and the dark forces they serve are under fire. The Minions Network, designed to enslave you and keep you focused on the external rather than the internal, is unraveling. People are waking up. Your planet is growing, expanding, taking on these new energies to her very core. She is evolving, moving to the next level, and those who are not paying attention, those who are not evolving with her, will not be able to continue on Earth, for they will not be frequency specific. There are those who are doing everything possible to stop this evolutionary process. They are creating as much pain, suffering, and mayhem as possible. Why? Because their world is coming to a close, and they think they can hold down the frequencies. The ascension to the next level through human consciousness by further enslavement, creating as much pain and suffering and fear and chaos as possible. There are those who serve the corporations, the minions, who believe, <clears throat> who believe otherwise and care nothing of your freedom and well-being. This is all coming to the surface. 
There will be a clashing of arms and spirit. There will be those exposing these nefarious acts of the dark hearts and the people responsible for them as well as those trying to cover it all up. You're going to have to pay close attention in the days to come. Do not believe the official story. Do your own research. Find alternative news sources, and most important, start living a life in alignment with universal law. Work towards, <clears throat> work towards universal peace, brotherly and sisterly love, individual freedom, and prosperity for all. For all. Honor the sacred circle of life, the creator in all creation. It really is that simple. As we said earlier, be kind and live in harmony with each other and nature. Surround yourselves with friends of like heart. Though you have your biological family, if they are dysfunctional, create your spiritual families. Support each other through this process. Remember, being a Christ does not mean being a doormat. Sometimes tough love is necessary, setting boundaries, speaking out without fear, telling people what they need to hear, not what they want to hear, is now a priority. It is time to release the past, create your future, and do it consciously, developing your own inner guidance without succumbing to the lamestream media to tell you what is next. They will be broadcasting their hypnotic delusion the minions programming right up to the moment the screen goes black. Nothing to see here, folks. Keep shopping. The status quo must continue. Not. It's unsustainable. It cannot continue considering the new frequencies and Earth's ascension sponsored by the big cheese, the source itself, along with the beautiful many masters, saints, sages, and yes, this includes the star nations. The old world is crumbling, and yes, I know the ego of many will dispel this message and defend their world in complete denial, believing everything will continue business as usual. That is the message of the minions. Those who align with it for security reasons will find it to be their greatest insecurity in the near future. Why? Because this 3D reality and the minions network has no future. It is totally out of alignment with universal law and not frequency specific to Earth's evolution. The very ground you stand on, the one thing most can depend on, is moving, increasingly becoming not as solid as one thought. Pay attention. Go within. Live in harmony with each other and nature. Develop your own inner guidance. That is the only security. Be well. End of quote. And quoted from Earth Ally Detwa. Last night while sleeping, I had a flash dream. This lasted only for what seemed like seconds, but I felt it will remain in my psyche until I make the transition to forgetfulness. Anyway, this flash dream involved one of my indoor cats named Baby, who came hurling above like a meteor flying to Earth very fast, almost to the point of not really seeing what it was, but left with the impression of knowing who it was. That was it. That was the flash dream. It jolted me awake and left me with the impression of its meaning enough so that I feel it may benefit some of you here. Here's what I feel it meant. We're getting close. So close to another veil being dropped. Those who are awake but continue to feel unloved, insecure, doubt, scared, and in a place where they know they shouldn't be, are now being told that now is the time to get your shit together and plant your feet firmly on higher vibrational ground. End of quote. In May of 2012 was the month we laid a lot of foundational energy to assist us in the physical manifestations of some very divine events to accelerate us further in 2013. We are ripe for these energy manifestations. Indeed, we are an intense change. We share this word over and over and over because really, there's no other way to explain this truth. Feel within your heart and look around you. You are shifting, 
People are shifting. The planet is shifting. You can feel this intensity and know it's all happening. The old paradigm is over. If you have not already, just jump. Love is here. Quoted from James Gilliland. I was told the real God is coming. The real God is here. Source energy has physically manifested. It is a frequency and a force which in its most unlimited understanding is love and bliss. Anything that does not align with it is in turmoil. Anything that is not in alignment with soul and spirit is falling away, separating as the polarities increase. The old paradigm and matrix is coming to an end, and there will be those who take the downward spiral, allowing the traumatized ego program mind by the old matrix to guide them in choice and action. There will be those who awaken and heal, taking the upward spiral, living in harmony with each other and nature on the path to ascension. The lines are being drawn, and the choices and actions from here on out will, will determine one's future. The fifth dimensional overlay pressing in on the earth cannot be stopped. The third dimensional matrix focused on the external awareness, social consciousness, a manipulated reality and sense of self is falling apart. The inner awareness of the God within Christ consciousness is taking its place. I was told there would be chaos before the peace. Now is the time to choose. Call out to your brothers and sisters on high. Ask them for help, guidance, and clarity. Ask them how you can best serve in the awakening and healing process. Learn how to heal unseen negative influences, safeguards for clear guidance. This is the only real security in the days to come. The matrix serves itself, and when it falls, those who serve it will fall with it. End of quote. Everything is becoming real, and all atoms are transforming and returning home. Everything in this realm is made up of atoms of energy, including all of humanity. If you don't have a starship parked in your garage, you're in for the ride. Each month, we have been making history with groundbreaking events. This month, we will continue this trend. Decreed by heaven, intense waves of energy are entering the planet from the higher grid as love gifts. This is the most powerful energy that has been here on this planet in over 13,000 years. We are in acceleration mode all the way up. Destiny is unfolding. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth, equal heart. Remember, loves, we are, not in a, we are not in a time linear schedule. We are in a divine one. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission and all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press, Humanities Earth Allies, the Company of Heaven, and the First Contact Ground Crew Team. We love you. Thank you for awakening.